Hi, welcome to the Des Moines Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Adobe Digital Editions. The software that you're required to have on your computer to download ebooks from the library, and you also use Adobe Digital Editions to transfer those ebooks to your e-reader. One thing I'd like to mention that this is for Windows computers or Macintosh computers. If you have an iPad, iPhone, or Android device, there are separate apps for those. Alright, I think we'll just go ahead and start at our home page, dmpl.org. Once there, click on the search link along the left side of the screen. From there, click on digital downloads along the left side of the screen. Once there, go over to the right side of the screen and click on Wilbur underneath eBooks. And once you're to this page, there are a couple of useful links that you may want to look at. One is the supported e-readers link. This will give you a list of e-readers that are compatible with Wilbur. If you already own an e-reader, you can check this list to make sure your device is compatible. Or if you wanted to purchase an e-reader and download ebooks from the library, you may want to check this li list to make sure that you get a compatible device. Another useful link is the Quick Start Guide that will walk you through checking out and downloading an ebook. And what we are going to be doing today is the free Adobe Digital Edition software installation. So let's go ahead and click on that link. And that'll pop you out into a new window. From here, click on Get Adobe Digital Editions. Pop you out into another new window. And if you scroll down here, right about in the middle of the screen, you'll see a button that says Install under Adobe Digital Editions Installer. Go ahead and click on that. Click on Install again. And finally click Yes. Here it'll tell you what's going to be installed on your computer. Click Next and install. Depending on your internet connection speed, the download times will vary, but it's usually fairly quick. And once that is completed, go ahead and click on the close button. Once you click there, Adobe Digital Edition software should open up automatically. From here, the first time you open this, there is a quick setup procedure you need to go through. Just go ahead and click on continue on the first page. And if you want to use this to transfer ebooks to an e-reader, you'll need an Adobe ID. If you already have one, you can just input that here. Otherwise, there's a link up here that says get Adobe ID online. Go ahead and click on that if you need to get one and it'll open up a page in one of the browser windows you had open. Once that loads up, there should be a button along the left side of your screen that says Create Adobe Account. Go ahead and click on that, and that should take you to a form to fill out. It looks fairly long, but in reality it isn't too bad. The only fields you need to fill out are the ones with the red asterisks next, next to them. So you'll need your email address, a password, it asks for first and last name, and city, country, and zip code. Once you get those fields filled out, you can skip the rest and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Just click on continue to get your Adobe ID. I've already got one set up, so I'm just going to go back to the Adobe Digital Edition software and input that. And once I have that put in there, I just click Activate. One thing I would like to mention before I do that is you can go ahead and set up Adobe Digital Editions without an Adobe ID you would just click this button here that says don't authorize computer but if you do that you won't be able to transfer the ebooks from Adobe Digital Editions to your e-reader go ahead and click on activate 
and Adobe Digital Editions will authorize the computer. Click Finished and you're now ready to download ebooks from the library and transfer them to your e-reader. If you have any questions give us a call at 283-4152 and we'll help you wherever we can.